Google just made three surprisingly bold investments. And if you're serious about AI stocks or tech-driven investing, you need to pay attention. These aren't safe, revenue-generating giants. They're unprofitable, newly public, high-risk names. But here's the key. Each one opens a door to the infrastructure that could define the next decade of AI. That's the pattern. And that's why Alphabet is interested. Welcome back to AI Stock Radar, where we focus exclusively on artificial intelligence companies, AI investing trends, and the tech infrastructure being built beneath them. No distractions, no biotech tourism, just clear insight into the companies shaping machine-driven markets. Now, rather than walking through these in the order Google bought them, let's flip the lens and start with why these purchases matter. The common thread in these three positions, Maze Therapeutics, Metzera, and AST Space Mobile, is not traditional revenue performance, it's potential. More specifically, it's potential to own or influence distribution, access, and intelligence layers that sit adjacent to artificial intelligence. And that's where things get interesting. Let's talk about AST Space Mobile. Alphabet poured over $200 million into this position in the first quarter of 2025, making it one of the top three largest non-core equity holdings in its entire portfolio. The company's pitch, a global satellite network that delivers mobile broadband straight to your smartphone. No towers, no dishes, just space-to-device connectivity. That has massive implications for AI expansion. In emerging markets where Android dominates, places where infrastructure is sparse, a direct satellite link allows Google to distribute services, collect user data, and deliver AI-enhanced applications without ever depending on telecom carriers. And that's not speculation. AST already has early-stage partnerships with AT&T, Verizon, Vodafone, and American Tower. But before you jump in, know this. The company is still burning cash at an alarming rate. It plans to launch more than 160 satellites by 2030, with each costing roughly $20 million. That's over $3 billion in required funding, none of which is currently offset by operating cash flow. The company posted over $200 million in losses last year, and despite a sky-high market cap above $11 billion, it has minimal revenue. The price-to-sales ratio? 1,700. This is a moonshot, and Google can afford moonshots. If AST executes its vision, it could become the invisible infrastructure behind AI-powered mobile apps across the globe. But the execution bar is brutally high. Satellite launches are risky. Coverage agreements take time, and retail investors need to ask themselves, can I wait a decade and stomach the volatility? Now pivoting to Maze Therapeutics, this small biotech player is working on using genetic data to build precision medicines that mimic rare, naturally occurring disease resistance. It sounds futuristic, and in many ways, it is. Their Compass platform is designed to sift through massive genomic datasets, identify protective anomalies, and then replicate those effects in drug form. For Google, that might sound like a side quest. But look deeper. It's about data. Maze is training its models on biological outcomes. This type of structured predictive modeling is AI-adjacent gold. And even if the company never releases a blockbuster treatment, the genetic insight could feed other health platforms' alphabet controls, like Fitbit, Verily, or its cloud-based healthcare AI initiatives. Financially, Maze is extremely early stage. It IPO'd this year. It generates almost no recurring revenue. It only posted a positive year once, due to a licensing deal. It's 2024 bottom line. Over $180 million in losses. Analyst coverage is sparse, and those who are covering it project negative earnings and negligible revenue for years. Still, Alphabet picked up $26 million in shares. That represents less than 2% of its active equity book, but the decision was deliberate. This isn't a liquidity grab. It's a test run. Will these genomic platforms become the next feedstock for AI-driven health? Google seems to think so. But again, retail investors should be cautious. 
The downside here is not just financial, it's psychological. It's the weight of hoping for clinical success while watching your capital bleed over multi-year trial phases. Now to Met Sarah. This is where AI intersects with one of the most explosive markets in healthcare, obesity treatment. You've seen the headlines. GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy are changing the economics of pharma, but they also rely heavily on patient behavior tracking, biometric analysis, and dosage optimization. That's where AI could come in, and Metzera knows it. They're developing their own version of these weight loss drugs, claiming comparable efficacy to industry leaders with added convenience. One version would be a once-a-month shot. Another would be a long-acting oral pill. Early phase two, data shows up to 20% body weight loss in test patients. That's huge, if it holds. Google invested over $135 million into Metzera, giving it a nearly 9% weight in its emerging tech portfolio. And again, the link to AI is subtle but powerful. If Metzera builds a successful therapeutic and wraps it with a smart delivery, dosing and monitoring system, it becomes a data-rich platform. AI thrives on that. Personalized weight management, predictive analytics, patient engagement models, all of it. But here's the catch. Metzera, like Maze, is nowhere near profitability. Its revenue is negligible. It lost over $150 million last year. Analysts expect continued red ink for at least two more years. The company is competing against pharma giants with billion-dollar budgets. And as of now, it has just five analysts covering it. That's not market validation, that's speculation. So now the question becomes, why is Alphabet doing this? The short answer is this. Alphabet is positioning itself for strategic optionality in the next wave of AI expansion. These aren't investments for quarterly return. They're seeds planted in ecosystems where AI could thrive. Genomic medicine, behavioral health, and satellite-powered global connectivity. And here's the takeaway for retail investors. Don't copy Google's playbook unless you have Google's risk profile. Alphabet can afford a dozen moonshots that fail. You probably can't. That doesn't mean these aren't fascinating companies. But they are not portfolio anchors. They're edge bets. If you're overweight in speculative names already, adding one of these may tip your balance too far. But if you're lightly allocated in emerging tech, they're worth keeping on your radar. In 2025, AI investing isn't just about software tools or semiconductor names. It's about the next generation of distribution, insight, and interface. The companies that can gather unique data, deliver services without dependency, or integrate AI into real-world health outcomes, that's where the alpha lives. So I'll leave you with this question. If you had to pick one of these, Maze, Metzera, or AST Space Mobile, which one do you believe could evolve into a platform-level player in AI's next frontier?